Remember Obama's big lie? If you like your health care plan, you can keep it. If you like your doctor, you will be able to keep your doctor, period. If you like your doctor, you keep your doctor. If you like your current insurance, you keep that insurance. If you've got health insurance, you like your doctor, you like your plan, you can keep your doctor, you can keep your plan. Nobody is talking about taking that away from you. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. If you like your health care plan, you can keep your health care plan. That big lie was the brainchild of an obscure, socialist-linked public relations firm called the Herndon Alliance. The Herndon Alliance relies on research of another equally obscure, equally socialist consulting firm called American Environics, run by Michael Schellenberger. Schellenberger's most famous client was socialist Venezuelan dictator Hugo Chavez, who was in 2004 having an imaging problem being hated by the proletariat that had elected him to create a socialist utopia. With Schellenberger's help, Chavez was turned into a hero of the people through slick marketing, despite the fact that Venezuela then, as now, is a sewer of poverty. But Michael Schellenberger, like most socialists, has his finger in a number of pies, chief among them the far-left lobbying group, the Apollo Alliance. The Apollo Alliance, like virtually all socialist front groups throughout the United States, is funded by globalist George Soros. Schellenberger shares the board table of the Apollo Alliance with none other than outed communist Van Jones, former Obama green job czar, along with former weatherman underground leader and domestic terrorist Jeff Jones, who blew up the Pentagon in 1972 with the help of Obama buddy Bill Ayers. Heading the Apollo Alliance's New York branch is Joel Rogers, who founded the socialist New Party, an organization our illustrious socialist-in-chief Barack Hussein Obama was a member of in the 1990s. During the 2008 presidential election, Obama would claim on his laughable Fight the Smears website that his ties to socialists were conspiracy theories. But unearthed copies of the socialist newspaper New Party News named Obama as a member of the new party that included photos posing alongside other socialists. We now have actual records of the new party showing that Obama was a dues-paying member who joined the new party on January 11, 1996. But back to the Herndon Alliance, now taking center stage in the fight to save Obamacare. The treasurer of the Herndon Alliance is Felipe Villiers, who heads another obscure group, Families USA, that received a whopping $1 million to help shove Obamacare down the throat of America, concocting phony Obamacare stories for the mainstream media to push. Families USA is connected, literally, to another not-so-obscure group, Enroll America, the chief federally funded so-called nonpartisan nonprofit group tasked with signing up Americans to Obamacare. Families USA and Enroll America literally share the same Washington, D.C. office and suite number. The head of Enroll America is none other than Ann Philippic, who formerly worked directly under Health and Human Services head Kathleen Sebelius. But Enroll America is in some deep trouble as of late. Former field director of the Obama re-election campaign and Enroll America communications director Chris Tarango was caught on undercover surveillance video by James O'Keefe's Project Veritas, conspiring to release private Obamacare enrollee data to a Democrat political action committee. Obamacare was never about health care. It's about socialism, hardline Marxism. The American people must own up to the fact that there is a socialist, a Marxist, sitting in the White House, who has surrounded his regime with an endless amount of George Soros-funded socialist front groups to push his socialist policies. Obama must be exposed, impeached, arrested, and imprisoned immediately. <laughs>